Welcome to the Whiskey Vault. Welcome to the Whiskey Vault. Hi. 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 This is a gift from Magnificent Bastard, Drake Woodruff. Drake Woodruff, you magnificent bastard. Oh. We're gonna do two of these today and one tomorrow. Okay. Or two well, days. What tomorrow. is it? What do we got? So this is Ann Arbor Distilling. Okay. In Ann Arbor, Michigan. ironically, in Michigan. Ann Arbor, Michigan, uh -huh. of all places. Where have I heard Ann Arbor, Michigan before? Is it like we're a Michigan beer. State University? Well, I know, but is yeah. there like a big beer? Yeah, Ann Arbor. Yeah, and no, that's Anheuser Busch. No, nope. I don't know. That it's an it's the Austin of Michigan. Ann Arbor is actually super cool. Okay. Uh, fly. I learned to fly fish in Ann Arbor. Huh. It's like right next to town. Yeah. There's rivers. It's beautiful. There's really great mountain biking in Ann Arbor. Speaking of, um, Davin Topol keeps inviting us to go fishing. Oh no, I should. I'm I'm bad at it, but I really enjoy it. Right. You Strangely, know, there could be like a, a whiskey and fishing pairing episode. Yeah. 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 I really. In, I'm terrible at fly fishing. Yeah. Love it. I, I put them off until the spring, but we're almost into the spring. Yeah. So let's reach out to him and see if we can. Yeah. Put something together. Uh, so this is Fox River Distillery, mm -hmm. and I did these two together because one is the bourbon and one is the cask strength bourbon. Okay. Right. Yeah. So. Which one do you want in which glass? Well, start with the regular. Well, I mean, which glass? Oh, it doesn't matter. Okay. Just the one in front, Yep. not cask. The one next is cask. So, couldn't really find out much about what's in here. Just that it's Ann Arbor. Maybe the bottle has a little more. Nope. It doesn't. Wow, their straight bourbon is 102. What is their cask strength? 112. There's only a 10 proof difference between these two. That's funny. That is funny. Well, that means they're proofing for taste, which good on them. All right. Hey, these are our um, yeah, really one. close to our, not the same, but they they're really close okay. to our uh, non-whiskey release. Well, our Alliance releases. Okay. Oh, hey. I'm saying. Yeah, tail Say saying if Dan was paying attention, he saw... My reaction to the nose. Yeah. What's going on there? T uh, is it tails? Uh, feels like tails, yeah. It gets, uh, it, uh, for, for lack of a better, more specific and precise word, funk. Mushroomy. Mushroomy funk? Yeah, it's just, it's it's a little deep. Wait a minute. But not, and for the tails, but not enough time to age it out. I accidentally picked up my glass like this. Yeah, but it, you, you kind of like it? It feels so right. Uh, does it it's look like a cognac. Yeah, right. It really does. You just warm it up with the heat of your hand. Yeah, yeah. Well, usually you don't want your fingers warming it up down there, so you kind of yeah. like doing this whole thing. But you just like the balance of this. I do. This. Uh, you, you can yeah, just you gesture. Yeah. All right. Maybe maybe I don't care if it warms up. Maybe because I, I very much care what people think about me. Oh yeah. And how I look and what I say. Yeah, that's your primary driver. <laughs> <laughs> but it just feels nice, and I can gesture and got good control. I'm just saying right now on the nose, the cask strength is just more so. And it almost, it's threatening to become like a vegetal type of. Yeah, it's, mm, yeah. So the cask strength, weirdly, it's it's that that note, that mushroomy vegetal, it's still in the cask strength, mm -hmm. but the volume of everything else is turned up along with it that it's less prominent. It's yeah. still there, but the other flavors kind of get turned up. So it's sharing some space with uh, other notes, I'm gonna try and put my finger on the other notes. Oh man, I was about to give a tasting note, but I'm not gonna do it because it's almost cruel. Is it accurate though? Use your okay. words. Use Dan, your words. be willing to cut this. Have you ever <laughs> by accident and then smelled oh my God. with whatever was because <laughs> I have, and that's what it reminded me of. <laughs> I'm going to say, on the nose, mm. I do not enjoy it. We'll see you on the taste. Mmm. It starts okay, honey. Oh yeah. And a soft grain, but then it sort of flattens into that sour note, in the in the finish. Yeah. Oh, and then it lands with you. Finally, get to that mushroomy vegetable. Yeah. On the finish. On the tail end of the. Yeah. You know what? The first half to two thirds, it's fine. Nothing, and then all Ooh. of a sudden, it's like, wait, the stuff I wasn't liking about the nose. Shows up on the, on the finish, and you're saying most most likely those flavors that we're not really I'm guessing. feeling is in the tails. I'm guessing it's a wide gut. Okay, and you say white. Well, you know what? 
Go back and you also get a little bit of a burnt match type of vibe. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, I'm not feeling it, man. Yeah. Sorry, Drake. Thank you for the whiskey, though. I prefer the cask. Yeah. The yeah, same. because the other things that the high yes. proof is carrying bury those fainty notes a little. Yeah, yeah. But it's still not and like... It brings up basically some nice, sweet honeys and... I was looking for an Ann Arbor bottling to see if we had another one of theirs, but no, this is it. It's almost like a floral honey. Yeah. Yeah, the sweetness, but then it just shares too much elbow room with the funk. Yeah. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, if I had to pick, it's cask. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But Ooh. not because I like it. <laughs> it's just because it's not as, as preferable. How spoiled are we? Oh, so spoiled. If we had to choose between oh, two. Oh, God, two free whiskeys that were given to me by someone I don't know who's more generous than I am. <laughs> How many whiskeys have you given to people? You know, I have given a lot of whiskeys to people. That you bought? Yeah. Oh, that's pretty good then. Yeah, yeah. How many have you given to me, though? Actually, quite a few. Like two. I think once when my child was born. Lafroig? No. Oh, that was a different one. That was a Glen Cadam. Yeah, that was one of my favorites. And only one of my kids. The other, you didn't care about the other. Well, others. I wasn't around. Who was like the most recent? Just the only one. Oh, is that the only one? How old is Gideon? Yeah, he's Cash's age. I didn't even know you then. Oh, uh, well, still, retroactively. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're doing that now. Well, I had a really depressing 13th birthday because you didn't get me a gift. <laughs> But this year. if you were of drinking age, I totally would have gotten you a 13th uh -huh. birthday present. Plants. Did you know I, sorry, yeah. did you know I spent my 21st birthday by myself? Okay. Yeah. yeah. I was living in Indiana. Yeah. I was there with a band, but they decided they wanted to move to California and we were going to all move to California, but I had gotten a job uh -oh. and I didn't want to ditch the guy. Right. So they all went off everybody and went to California and I was like I gotta give my guy notice yeah. I'm not gonna leave him hanging yeah, yeah. and so I stayed November and December mm -hmm. to help him transition yeah and my birthday's in November so I turned oh your birthday's November I mm, I, I turned like what, uh, what day days after yours write it down he's trying to keep that a secret for years I, you know you're right I have Fuck. <laughs> Dan, bleep that out Hold what on. am I doing there's been so much a secret that yeah I, I have a birthday in November. Yeah. I had no idea your it's birthday was It's not because I care about my age. I'll right. tell you my age all day long. Right. I just don't like everyone feeling like they have to give me the obligatory, happy birthday, Daniel. It's like, ah, oh, whatever. whatever. Oh, you just ignore them. Just they say, happy birthday. And you go, don't be stupid. Yeah, <laughs> don't be stupid. <laughs> anyway, so I was in, in Fort Wayne, Indiana. Right. I turned 21. Huh. And I didn't know anybody. Yeah, yeah. So I was like, huh, I guess I'm 21 now. So there was a bar across the street from my apartment right. called Third Base Saloon. Okay. And I was like, all right. So I went into Third Base Saloon and ordered a Guinness. Did it live up to the name? Oh, yeah. <laughs> or down to it, more like, yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, so, and then their subtitle was Last Stop Before Home. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it definitely lived up to it. Uh, and I ordered a Guinness. Yeah. And I had a Guinness by myself. And I was like, huh. Yeah. I'm 21. And then I went back to my apartment. <laughs> That's not tragic, but you know, at the same time, your 21st birthday, a uh, by yourself Guinness. You wanted to be like a Guinness with at least somebody. Yeah, well, when I got to California. Which is I, why you should have taken advantage of the I third did. base theme and taken home a harlot. Oh Lord. I don't think you understand baseball. Oh, <laughs> they don't. Isn't that why they patch That's called the third base coach. Isn't that why they pat you on the ass when you're rounding thirds? Yeah, that's your reward. <laughs> yeah. You're welcome. Should have taken home a harlot. That's plastic. We're not spilling yeah, it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, what in the world was that? Hey, hey, hey. Uh, you know what I think would be uh, worth exploring? What if, since we're doing like uh, three episodes, mm. right? what if uh, we had Dan live switch the episodes and then... We get like three cameras. Mm. Right? Jesus, you are always complicating these things. No, we did this for simplicity purposes. No, you don't understand. <laughs> My way, there's like, instead of actual editing, uh -huh. uh, there's about two minutes of editing per episode. Okay. Right? So you get like, camera here, camera here, camera here. We're sitting down. Okay. Right? Establishing Big shot. Change. Dan's right here. Okay. By the time we're done shooting, he's 99% done with the whole thing. Okay. So it's just boop, 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 boop. You just want to sit down. 
Come on, sit down. You're the only reason we're standing. You realize this. I know. In the early days of the channel, you're like, no, more energy. It's true. You gotta stand. No, it's true. But, um, <laughs> I want to sit down. <laughs> can't think of a good reason. It's just, it's a very comfortable couch. You guys can see the corner of it. Look at this. It's so plush and comfortable. It really is. And you just keep looking at it and you're, you're like, like, oh. <sighs> Yeah, I'm kind of jealous of my keys because I threw my keys over there. Yeah, and <laughs> jealous of my keys. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. Uh, did we read these? No, Is we didn't. Anything? Okay. Uh, a bunch of numbers. The legend of the deep uh, was waiting for the ah uh, or gotcha bit, but no. Nothing. He watched my how to drink video. Okay. And he was like, I was waiting for the oh. punchline and there wasn't one. <laughs> Oh, I love that video. I, <laughs> I love it. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> you, you, we've talked about this. You do realize <laughs> that is your move. Oh, yeah. Say, hey, Danny, what do you think we should do? Mm. Well, guys, you, I think it would be very funny. We just do nothing. <laughs> Literally nothing. I think it would be very funny if, you know, we put on a funny hat. <laughs> hold on, hold, hold, hold on. on. Stay and with then, me. And Stay then, with me. And then... We never referenced the hat. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> stay with me. Stay with me. And then, still there. It's gonna be amazing. Finish the video. Mm -hmm. Not having referenced the hat mm -hmm. at all. <laughs> but um. <-sh> <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, man. Chill, even. You know where I got that from? What hump? It's Mel Brooks trick. Millie Vanilli Whiskey Channel turned into mid-aged gaming channel. Oh yeah, because yeah. I the Halo. We're the. Uh, I'm playing Elden Ring now. Elden Ring. Elden Ring. Oh oh oh, Elden Elden Ring. Elden Ring. Uh, you never played any of the Dark Souls series? No. Series. It's maddening. No, this is why I have it. All I know about Dark Souls yeah. is Viva La Dirt League talking about how maddening playing it was. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah no, it's it's absolutely. It's why it's would you do that? Nine out of the. If, if there's a game that was designed, 10 out of 10 is everything that I love. It's 9 out of 10 things that I love. Really deep, elaborate, o open world exploration. You never know what's around the corner. It's always something new, blah, blah, blah. Then the final 1 out of 10 thing is, uh, but if you ever try to fight anything, it'll murder your ass 10 times over before you get lucky enough to finally kill it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no thanks. Yeah. Uh, Subnautica, you ever heard of this? Nope. You may like Subnautica. Uh -huh. Yeah. It's, it's like, it really has turned into a gaming channel. Did you sponsor the new Viva La Dirt League Studios uh, no, on their Patreon? That looked really good. That looked really cool. I did. Yeah? yeah. Well, how much did you? I'm going to have to do more. Oh, I don't remember. A thousand dollars. Fuck. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Uh, is that it? Is that? <laughs> That's yeah. It. Oh, yeah. It's like one of those things where it's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <sighs> Here's fighting, stealing, and drinking. If you fight me, I'm fighting for a friend. If you steal, may you steal your liver. And if you drink, May you drink with us? <laughs> kind of. Did the, you hear that? That was a little bit of. May you drink with us? Worth us. Bye. Cheers. <laughs>